Hello everyone, welcome to BMW blog and welcome to a new video with a new BMW M5. Today I'm actually going to do a hyper mild test with this new hybrid M5. It is fully charged to 100%. It's showing me 33 miles on the odometer and I'm going to go for a ride in Chicago. In this video I'm going to drive in the city. We're going to go on the highway a little bit at normal speeds and that way we will see how much miles we can get out of that battery in the M5. So let's go. All right, so first things first, let's make sure that we put the car into full electric mode. I'm gonna go to hybrid, and now we're gonna select all electric. So now the car should stay in that mode. I'm gonna try not to accelerate so the engine doesn't kick in. 2,360 miles, that's how we start with. see stop and go traffic here in Chicago so that's exactly what you expect as a normal driver but that's okay we're gonna hop on the highway in a little bit so we're gonna do some mixed driving right here right now I'm down to 30 miles and basically um, showing me 2361 I started at 2360 it is a little bit cold outside so of course your mileage may vary based on the temperature outside. It's not ideal, I would prefer maybe around 70, but nonetheless, we're still gonna do this task. mind that in the electric mode the car is limited to about I believe 90 miles per hour but if you're on this highway for example and you're trying to overtake and you're kicking that gas pedal then the V8 engine will kick in and that's going to mess the test so we're just gonna go for a normal cruise nothing crazy so far it's within the range I went four miles and I dropped about four miles as well so it seems to be quite quite accurate of course the car loves to be in stop and go traffic because then as you can see right there i can lift off the gas pedal it's going to put some electrons back in the battery so the brake region is going to kick in and try to get you a little bit more range out of it when you're on an open road naturally that's something that at higher speeds the battery packs will start to deplete a little bit faster you see it's a beautiful day out in chicago it's starting to warm up a little bit more Perfect day to go for a drive. Of course, traffic, it's always an issue here in Chicago. Like I said, this particular drivetrain absolutely loves when you're in traffic because you generate a bit more electrons into the battery pack. So checking in about 10 miles in, 24 miles out of 32, 33. So that's within the norm right now. I'm expecting that we're gonna get the full 33 miles by just driving the way we are right now, which is a combination of, as you saw, city driving, a little bit of highway driving, keeping within the speed limits.
so checking in 20 miles of driving right now and I'm down to 17 miles started at 32 33 miles so I'm actually doing a little bit better than projected let me be right by your side because I know that this is right don't be shy just get to know me we can take this somewhere else you and me can find ourselves not pretending we are lonely Okay, so this is actually pretty good. I'm at 30 miles in and I still have eight miles left. So right now I'm beating the estimated 33 miles. So as you can see, the car is quite efficient actually. Okay, I'm not driving extremely fast. Naturally, I'm, I'm still going a little bit over the speed limit. So this is your normal driving, just literally driving as a normal person. Of course, on the last stretch, I'm gonna go back onto some of the side streets and go a little lower speed. So I'm assuming the range will increase a little bit more. But nonetheless, as always, you know, the EPA estimates are quite conservative. The WLTP will be more generous. I always like to put the actual range somewhere between the two. <laughs> All right, so I'm approaching the final stretch. Three miles, it's showing me on the odometer for the electric range. And so far I went about 37 miles of driving. So pretty good. I'm assuming at this rate, I'm going to hit 40 miles of EV range compared to the 32, 33 advertised by BMW. All right, guys, so I'm getting close to the end of this test. I know it was a little bit long, maybe a little bit boring, but that's the idea of this test. As you can see, I went 38.5 miles right now and I have one mile left. I'm assuming if I'm driving in this traffic, I might be able to actually hit 40 miles of range with the new M5 G90. All right, getting close. Let's see if we can hit 40. 39. Come on, M5, you can do this. You can do this. As you can see, the hybrid drivetrain just kicked in. The V8 is running right now. I'm assuming that's to maintain the state of charge on the battery pack, so you still get the full power out of the entire drivetrain. Nonetheless, so there you go. Almost 40 miles of electric range with the BMW M5 G90. You can see right there, 39.5, one mile left. The hybrid kicked in. You can see right there, it kicked in to maintain the state of charge. Of course, you can also use the e-control to do the same thing, but nonetheless, pretty, pretty good. Okay, so this was the electric range test with the new BMW M5 G90. Once again, nearly 40 miles of range compared to the 33 advertised by BMW. There you go. Hopefully this was useful and hopefully now you know that you can actually beat the EPA range test with the new BMW M5. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.